Selenium will stop supporting Java 8 from September 2023. Yes, you have that right. You must have seen many videos, articles, blog posts, LinkedIn articles that Java 8 will not be supported anymore with Selenium. So answer is yes. You have to upgrade now from Java 8 to Java 11, not only with Selenium. So when we are building an automation framework, when we are building a pipeline, we have to use many tools and now many tools now only support Java 11. So from September onwards, you will need minimum Java 11 in order to continue with Selenium. I will share all my points. Let what say if you have still Selenium 3, what if you have older versions of Selenium, what if you have new version of Selenium, we'll talk about them one by one. But before we move ahead, let me show you some background and uh, the official documentation which says about the supporting part. So if you can see on the screen, um, this is recently published on 9th of June that Java 8 supports in Selenium. And as the clearly mentioned, Selenium will stop supporting blah, blah, blah. Then they have mentioned why it has been done. So as you know that Selenium is continuously releasing multiple versions and soon Selenium 5 will be coming. And they have also mentioned that uh, there was a bug in HTTP client which comes with Selenium. So in order to fix that bug, they have to move to a newer version which requires Java 11. So parallelly, the complete uh, Selenium stack has been updated to uh, Java 11 now. And it's good because Java 10 after onwards, you have seen many updates and it's high time to use all the existing features. Uh, we still use Java 8, right? But many people, they're still not using Lambda expressions, filter APIs, stream APIs which actually can reduce your boilerplate code and you can enhance the code. So we'll talk about that as well in the upcoming videos that how you can use new Java features to build your automation framework. But now we are not only talking about Selenium, we will talk about Jenkins as well. You must have seen that if you're using older versions of Jenkins, many of the plugins are outdated. Even if you try to update them, it fails. But when you try with the latest version in order to make work with that plugin, you need to update Jenkins. And if you want to update Jenkins, you need minimum Java 11. So if you can see here, I'm on the Jenkins download page. And if I go to this hardware and software requirement, and in the software requirement, if you click on Java requirement, Jenkins now requires 17 or 11 or above, okay? So all the latest versions after 3.5.7, you need Java 11. Not only Jenkins, let's say if you're using TestNG. So TestNG, all the latest versions which is coming, they will be supporting Java 11 again so it's high time to move to java 11 again not too many breaking changes definitely you will see some uh, methods will be deprecated some class will be deprecated now and these classes will be removed in the future releases so when you start using java 11 you will not find much difference but you can use some additional functionality of java latest java versions to build more concrete test and more concrete framework now let me also show you one very important part docker so as you all know that Selenium have Selenium grid, which is for remote execution, right? Now, suppose if you want to set up a Selenium grid with Docker, then Docker have the base image, right? So if you open their official, uh, you know, Docker Selenium GitHub repository, you will see the base image. So if you click on the base image, now you will see Docker file. So basically the moment you run this Docker file, right? Uh, it will create an image for you. So in order to run Selenium Grid, this is one of the base image which internal uses. And if you open the Docker file, you will see here the version is open JDK 11 GRE headless. So it means whether using Selenium Grid, Selenium, TestNG, Jenkins, even the latest versions of Maven uh, plugins, they will be needing Java 11. So now the main question comes, what are the challenges we will get? See, this is not happening first time. It happened in the past as well that we have to upgrade to Java version in order to use the latest libraries, right? So same thing we have to do now. First of all, you identify, you create a separate environment for Java 11 and run your test on the separate Java 11 environment and see what kind of behaviors you are noticing. When I say behaviors, basically you need to identify that what tests are failing and how you can fix it. So there's a fix for everything in case there's some fix which you are not able to do you can raise a bug they will review if it is a bug it will be done in the next release otherwise you will definitely find some workaround this is only for someone who has already using selenium 4 with java 8 don't change immediately create a separate environment run your test and then apply the changes separately point number two what if somebody is using selenium 3 yes there are so many people still who are using Selenium 3. They have not moved to Selenium 4. They're still using Selenium 3.14, 1.59 with Java 8. 
So I would recommend them also that start using Selenium 4 and start using the new features of Selenium, right? Because many things has been deprecated now. So if you use Selenium 4s, you can use the latest features, CDP, new Selenium grid and a lot of new features which is coming in the next releases. What if you are someone who is who want to start from the scratch for you? Nothing to worry. Just download the latest version of Java 17. You can give a try, but as per the recommendation, try 11 with Selenium latest version, which is 4.10.0 at the time of this recording. And you can continue. If you face an issue, you can reach out to me anytime. And when it comes to execution part, see right now, whatever environment you have, let's say you have some EC2 instances or you have some dedicated VMs, or maybe you are using some any third party cloud vendors definitely you need to upgrade that as well so if you're using some paid subscriptions right th that they will take care but if you are setting up everything from the scratch then you have to create a dedicated environment test accordingly and you can switch to java 11 still we have a time it's in september 2023 we're in june so a lot of time to update and you can continue uh, so just a quick request to all of you those who are updating now and if you're facing an issue with selenium let me know in the comment section and i will try my best to give you the fix and make a video on that so that's all from my side uh, just a quick note not only selenium you need java 11 for all the future dependency that you will be using and the software that you will be using yeah that's a quick video from my side thank you so much for watching this video in case this video is helpful for you then please share with your friends colleagues and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care